Okay, so the next thing is once we classify the traffic, we need to make sure that uh, we need to tell the zone based firewall what action you want to take. So this is nothing but uh, firewall policy loose rules where we are going to tell the router what action it has to take. Now there are three, three different possible actions we generally use. Uh, most commonly used is inspect. Now, now, now basic difference is pass is nothing but when the, when the traffic is flowing, it will just allow the traffic to pass through. But whereas it ha it do not have a capability to inspect the written traffic, which means if the written traffic is coming, then the router do not have the capability to identify or differentiate the written traffic. So it just allow. But whereas drop, so maybe some some specific traffic you want to drop, so we can select an action of drop. But most likely, if you want to do some kind of stateful packet inspection, more like an ASA firewall, which is going to create and track the session state, more like an ASA firewall, we'll be using an inspect options. Now in the inspect options, when the traffic is allowed, when you use an option of inspect, it will ensure that the traffic which matches the class map, like in our example, we try to match the traffic coming from 10 dot network going to 30 dot network, if it is telnet traffic, once it matches this traffic, it's going to allow the traffic to pass through from the LAN interface to the internet. And then if the return traffic is coming, because when you're initiating a telnet connection, you, you must be getting a return, return traffic, it's allowed automatically by default. So, so in the firewall policy rules, we need to tell what action you want to take. The default action we take is inspect. Now these actions we need to define with the help of something called policy maps. So, so in the previous sessions we use class maps. Class maps is going to tell what traffic you want to match. So we need to classify the traffic by using class maps. So in the policy maps we are going to use these policy maps to, to tell what action you want to take. So if you want to define an inspect option you need to create a policy map. So a policy map is going to control the flow of the traffic between between the interfaces like i said whether you want to do some kind of inspection or to pass the traffic or to drop so we can use multiple class maps also inside that and these are the default actions and any traffic which is not matching like in my case if you if you get back to the configuration here if you say show run class map so we use this class map and any traffic which is not matching this will be automatically considered inside the class default. Uh, default is nothing but the default class map which matches any other traffic which is not classified. And the default action is going to be drop. So when I do the configuration of policy map, I'll show you that you will see the default uh, class will be, uh, the default action will be dropped for the default class. So let's bring it back to the configuration wise. Uh, in the configuration wise, we need to create a policy map. Uh, it should be type inspect and any name you can use. And then we need to refer to the to the class map, uh, whatever we have created, which matches this particular traffic. And then we have to tell the action what you want to take. Inspect. So, so let's go to router 2 and then I'll create a policy map. It has to be type inspect. Let's say I'll say land to internet policy and then I'm going to refer my refer my class. I think I'm using this land to internet class and then the action you want to take inspect. So you can use question mark to see what are the other possible options. So inspect, drop or, or pass options. So we can use some kind of police policies to restrict the bandwidth more used in quality of service scenarios. But in zone based firewall, the most common option we use is inspect. And once I do this, if you say show run policy map to verify the configurations, what I did, you can see it's going to inspect. And again, it's, it's always a best practice. You know, when you, when you do this, you always need to match the default class and you can simply say drop, even though anyway, it's, it's automatically dropped uh, in the backend. But when you say drop and it's it's a best practice to also log so that if if any traffic is moving through this zone based firewall router and if it is getting dropped, if it matches the default class and it's getting dropped, we can see some log messages displayed if based on the logging feature enabled. So in my case, this is something recommended. 
even though it's not a mandatory part of the configs but i do recommend this configurations so so that's that's how we 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 need to define the policy rules inside the zone based firewall by using policy maps now the last thing we need to do is we need to do the pairing that's what we call as zone pairing the last step we need to activate this firewall policy to the zones interfaces and the configuration wise uh, it's going to be something like this we call it as zone pairing now zone pairing is nothing but we need to create a zone pair with some name and then we have to tell the direction of the traffic from where it is coming it's coming from my LAN interface that's my source and it's going on my interface which is my internet interface that's my destination so we need to create a zone pair which means I'm saying that the policy whatever I, I created so the traffic flow will be between from LAN to internet not from internet to LAN and it has to apply this policy and that policy says whatever the traffic uh, matching this policy will be inspected of course this policy refers to a class map and whatever the traffic matches this class map will be inspected by default so I'll, I'll quickly show you the configuration here um, like on the router 2 um, all the command starts with zone so just remember zone zone pairing any name so always use some name like this LAN to internet pair and source interface it can be LAN internet these are the two security zones which I created so it, it, the direction is from LAN and going towards internet and I want to inspect my policy, the policy map, which I created. This is a policy map. So we need to say service policy and then type inspect. The name of the policy is land to internet policy. Done. Now the finally verification wise, if I go to router one and as per my uh, policy, it's going from land to internet. This policy is going to match the traffic from 10 to 30 equal to telnet should be inspected. So which means if I try to initiate a telnet connection from router 1 to router 3, the telnet should work. You can see it's working because 230 from 10.1.1.1. But if I try to initiate a connection without source, which means if, if there's no source then the default session will start from this source going to 3111 so you can see telnet connection is not allowed and if you go to router 2 and verify the log messages it shows you the packet is dropped dropping the tcp connection from source 1.1.1.1 going to 3111 on port number 23 that's a telnet port number because it's going to match the default class due to the drop action so if you remember I, I discuss anything not matching the above policy matches the default class so if you want we can add some more statements into this like maybe you want uh, you want to allow ICMP traffic between any source to any destination just want to allow because you do some kind of testing verifications from LAN to internet ICMP traffic should be allowed and already there is a policy applied from LAN to internet so we don't need to modify uh, we don't need to remove the pairing or modify the policy the only thing we need to do is we need to add the ICMP traffic inside the class map so which means I need to specify class map type inspect and I have to say match any why because I'm going to match two types of traffics and then we say match uh, protocol ICMP. ICMP. So if we verify show run class map, it's going to match either telnet traffic from 10 to 30 or matches protocol from any source to any destination. Because here I'm not specifying the source or destinations, which means it matches any source to any destination. So if I try to ping to 3111, I should be able to ping from any source so it should work between any source and any destinations so typically uh, you don't you don't really do this very small statements because in the real scenarios you may want to match uh, simply match uh, protocol tcp maybe and then match protocol udp that's it 
so because the ASA firewalls by default inspect all the TCP and the UDP traffic. So you can simply write a match TCP UDP or you can uh, match a specific protocols, whatever you are using. But ICMP and Telnet are uh, best way to verify, verify this labs. And that's the only reason I'm using in my labs. But uh, practically the, you might be using different protocols. So you need to match those specific protocols or port numbers, selected source, selected destinations. And that's how the zone based follow zone based firewall is going to work.